Uh, welcome to Agile World uh, Day 9. Wow, and we're still friends and we're still talking. Hello, Sabrina, oh, how are you doing? I'm all right, how are you? I've given up on the background for today because I want you all to see my awesome hat because for once I've got my hair down and my beautiful angelic wings, as you call it. <laughs> well, you know, it's 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 good marketing and, and, and I personally think that you need to, you know, project that image out. <laughs> you know what, I might try. Let's see if I can give it a go. I'm going to get a, a sheet. I'm just sick of disappearing. Um, not that I have to be in the light all the time. I'm going to try a sheet behind me. Um, we'll give it a go. Let, let's test and try it. Let, let's reflect. Yeah, let's test and learn. I mean, it's, it's I, I don't mind test and learn if there is a, a, a specific thing we're trying to achieve. It's test and learns that are there to hide the fact that no one knows what they're doing. Um. <laughs> I've, already, I've already worked out how to tweak the filtering. So I'm so smooth. The Zoom filters are absolutely amazing. <laughs> all right as uh I, well clearly i haven't because I've, I've i've got a, a daylight device here to to reduce my issues with vitamin d deficiency um so um okay so back to the festival uh have you been to anything recently that you liked are you going to anything soon that you that you'd like to talk about do you know what i did actually go to one last night so after we had the uh, trustees meeting which was a really good session um so just to let all you guys know that aren't in the background of the agile 20 reflect we have a session every tuesday night all the trustees get together and we kind of talk about what's going on and what we can do more of and how we can help and whenever you send in feedback it comes through and we do have a meeting about it yes we've got a whatsapp group that we're constantly talking to each other 24 7 but we do actually have a session once a week um, to talk through it. So I did actually go to one. I, and we had this discussion yesterday of who was going to go to what um, session. So it was actually the deep dive agile fluency model uh, by Diane. Um, and it sounded like an absolutely amazing event. But unfortunately, we are now noticing there have been some errors within the calendar. So on the Agile 20 Reflect calendar, it did say it was between seven o'clock to eight p.m. GMT. So, so I, I don't think I don't think errors on the calendar is quite the way I characterise oh, it. Maybe I've spent too long doing PR with the uh, major corporations. <laughs> um, the, I think the way I'd probably describe it is that uh, we are seeing problems with time, mm -hmm. uh, and the problems with time relate to um, GMT. Uh, British summer time, yeah. relative time. Um, and, you know, uh, early on, someone spotted that there were some problems. We had a look at them and we thought we'd fix them. Um, and we have now played with every single setting that there is on the calendar to fix it. We've tried to involve the developers of the calendar yeah. plugin for the WordPress. Um, and uh, no one seems to have a solution. And I think what it is, is that the... Um, you know, we, we aren't linked to an atomic clock. You know, it's it's linked to a notion of time. And therefore, that notion of time is not uh, aligned with things like British summertime or winter time. So there's no, no management of the variations that exist uh, by countries. Yeah. Um, and I think that so what, what, what some people did was and I did it as well, I downloaded the entire calendar uh, into my calendar it's an option on on the festival sites and what that did was it it uh, created relative time for all of the events so now I find out when they actually are relative to me because I use Google Calendar and in the background Google Calendar works out all the problems for me and gives yeah. me the right times so I think if, if you're having problems with the calendar and probably uh, if you're trying to go to events and you keep on going and they're not happening when you think they should be happening, download the entire festival calendar into your Google calendar or, or one or if you're using Microsoft with their one. But remember, it is a big, big thing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a big I, file. I'm actually quite grateful that they overrun because the event was so amazing because I did actually get to experience 15 minutes of it after 15, 20 minutes afterwards when it was basically the question and answers and, and the feedback side. So I'm, I'm glad, to, I feel slightly fulfilled because I got to experience that part. I know that you've been to this particular event before as well, haven't you, Carl? Uh, 
I'm going to take the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would take the fifth I was a, if I was American. I'll assume American status and take the fifth. I won't say anything further to incriminate myself. Uh, I, there's quite a few things I've tried to go to and failed, not because of the calendar, but because of me and because of other accountabilities. So um, although I'm not in full-time employment, uh, I have bunches of other things I have to do relative to family. Uh, responsibilities so yeah uh, I didn't go to that one <laughs> I wanted to go to the Chris Stone one that turned out to be exact same time as the trustees meeting um, and we got some feedback on that from one of the trustees who'd bunked off to go to it so uh, so thank you Shelby for that it was yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, just gonna dob Shelby in um, yeah, so like, well, like to well, post as well <laughs> well you know if if uh you know we're bigging you up shelby uh, but it you know the point was it, it it sounds like it was wonderful so uh chris i'm sorry i couldn't have been there but uh, by the looks of it i couldn't have been there anyway even if i got the right time because i was meant to be in the trustees meeting um so we are agilist at heart and some of these <laughs> issues that we are finding with the festival that have been out of our hand they're all going into a lessons learned. We are retrospecting. And if we do carry this on to next year, there'll be some mass improvements being made. So that's one thing. We, we're all agilists in the background. We will go through this. Yeah. And I think there's, you know, we are trying to help. Uh, I mean, the, the organization, we thought we'd probably get about 100 events. Uh, mm -hmm. And we thought that would be complex. Uh, we, we thought we might get uh, a few events outside of Europe, and most of the events are outside of Europe. Um, so uh, none of the, the none of what we thought would happen has happened, which is fantastic. Amazing. Because you know we can't see into the future. You got one for everyone, or is it just you? Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> um, but it's uh, it, it means that we have been involved in some amazing new things that are happening, and we want to support that. And um, you know, from the from the outside in, if you're learning stuff, uh, please give us feedback. We we need to know what we don't know. It's it's, it's we want to avoid assumptive behaviour. Um, so the calendar we know has got problems. We have that that minor solution, which is to download it into your local. Uh, calendar system and uh, through a, a magic of uh, technology it seems to get relative time sorted out um apart from that uh, i've actually been archiving I'm, I'm going archiving mad uh, but I, I it's it's i've just started to add in the topics so I, i'm this is a shout out for anyone that has specific topics uh, in the archive that they want to use as cross references so mm -hmm. i'm just going to call out what i've done so far so i've got uh one matrix one matrix uh, which is languages which is a common thing you know can i understand what's in the archive and listen yeah. to it and then what i've started to do is also add things like origins of agile uh future of agile and 2021 state of agile because we, we you know current state of agile is 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 a bit confusing if we're looking at videos in 2023 because it's no longer the current state yeah. um and then i've also added in things like um agile transformation agile strategy agile metrics agile methods and practices uh, which all make sense relative to where we are now in agile there's going to be missing pieces and i'm also seeing a lot of um uh, sort of social and welfare-based talks that we haven't got a description for, what should they be called? I don't actually know. So I am an information architect originally, a long time ago before user experience. So I can work it out. But if you if you have uh, opinions and would like to support, please let me know. Uh, join the Slack uh, through uh, the website and volunteer, yeah. and then join Mimi's World of Archiving, and uh, you can help sort out how we move this forward. And, and we could do with some help. That does actually lead on to something. Uh, so tomorrow, right? Difficult decisions tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow, I'm actually gonna try and multitask because we've got the 20th anniversary of the Agile Manifesto. Mm -hmm. Actually on tomorrow, 
but there's also some also other awesome events going on. And this is where I'm going to be multitasking. Uh, there's one event I think is really, really important for the, the situation we're in within life, which is uh, collaborate and communicate effectively in a virtual setting. I'm very interested in that one because this is our life at the moment, but also this is going to be for a while, but it's also handy because, you know, we're now speaking to people all over the world now and it's going to be virtually. So I'm really um, interested in that. Prince, uh, the principles of the, uh, the Agile principles has promoted face-to-face -face as the most effective way to, for teams to communicate. And it's going to go into those details, but for virtually as well. And then obviously you've got, you know, the anniversary that's going to be quite exciting tomorrow so I'm going to be tag team in between two I might even have both of them up at the same time what do you think do you think I'll be able to do it yeah I'm doing that with a couple of things myself um so there's uh it's agile culture which is put on by the agile business consortium and they've they've managed to pull together a really interesting set of um talks but it's actually clashing with um snowbird uh, and I really want to go to Snowbird. Um, even just to say I was there, it's like getting the badge, isn't it? Yeah. But I, I do want to hear what's being said because uh, I'm, I'm always a bit concerned where um, certificating authorities uh, then start talking about the next version. You think, well, am I going to have to pay money to learn this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. how much do I have to cop up? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you know, I'll check, I'll check my hat and see how much money's under it. But um, I, th I think the intention is, is, is more about uh, where do we go from here. Um, so that, that would be interesting. Um, I also have an executive interview tomorrow. <laughs> so, Ooh, fit that in some. Hey, at the end of the day, it's part of your job having that in the background. There's one I've just seen, actually. Um, beyond the budgeting, the enabler of deep agile transformations, that one sounds intriguing as well. So, yeah, and there's also the first agile Kazakhstan uh meeting. I'd, I'd love to go to that because it's kind of like, uh, what, what, where were you today? I was in Kazakhstan, uh, what? <laughs> uh, and I missed the Nepal meeting, so um, it's it's interesting. It's also, I've been looking through the web stats about what you know where the biggest centers for uh, people um, looking at the website are. And the, obviously the first, the first one is, is, is not a surprise, which is the USA, because a, a lot of people turned on to using tech there. Mm -hmm. Then United Kingdom, and then Nepal. You know, Nepal has got uh, the third largest hit rate of any country in the world for accessing our website. Really? Yes, it's it's impressive. It's um, and so I think that that's that's new visitors, okay. So as opposed to returning visitors, and new visitors count for twenty five percent of all visitors. It's still it's still quite a large number of people out of that. That uh, and they they are getting, uh, I think, something like three or four hundred more than the position four country. So that that's that's really interesting. So hopefully, it's galvanising um, opinion in Nepal towards adopting agile. I tell you one thing, actually, I am noticing these events are filling up more and more and more and more. I'm actually, what? I know one fear that we have is, you know, what numbers are we comfortable with at each event? But I am noticing there's been a few events that I've I've gone to go. Um, go and see i've just kind of logged on you know when you've got a spare five ten minutes or you've got a spare hour and you thought you know what let's go see what's going on yes you do <laughs> you do have that time don't say you don't i'm normally still working on marketing and stuff like that in the background but you just think actually come on let's just see what's going on right now and there's been a couple that i i there's no space i've been like no why no, I have that disappointment feeling. There's no space. It's great that it's popular, but I can't go to this. <laughs> you know, you know I mean. It's never going to work. You're never going to beat these bad boys behind me. Oh, that's true. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, that's uh, you know in this festival although i'm organizing it, I, I've only actually booked myself to speak once, <laughs> um, which is... Um, not really a surprise because I, I see speaking as something you have to do you know it's, I, I like I enjoy it 
but it's not really my com- my comfort zone is a really decent problem to solve that, that is really really complex across the globe you know well, multiple you're business yourself a problem then <laughs> my goal in life is to be a problem well no it's it's uh, everything is potential to be fixed somehow maybe i can't fix it maybe there, someone else can but maybe at least i can work out what the pieces are um so i, I describe problem solving as you know can i get the four corners and some of the edging um, and that helps people to, you know, I frame the problem and, uh, and multiple actors are involved in solving it. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing one talk, I think it's the 26th, uh, but the rest of it is, is facilitating other people. So uh, hopefully uh, I get the right people come to it because I don't really want, I don't know, I don't want, it's, yeah, there's nothing else on, let's go to Carl's. <laughs> it, won't it won't be the case. I'll be there to support you. I'm being good. I'll, I'll, I'll sit back, I'll be quiet, but I'll be there to support. I've got one on the 23rd uh, with a good friend of mine, Cynthia. Um, I actually work with her uh, through with Scrum Alliance. So we're both advisors for Scrum Alliance. Um, so we decided to put a talk together. Um, she's also got a talk that she's doing on the 21st as well, Growing Organization or Business Agility. Um, so she's doing it with Mina. Um, so I have actually asked her to actually come and join us one evening to talk oh, about cool. both events. So she's going to come and join us. So she's in uh, Texas. So it works out the timings that we normally do. Oh, I love Texas. I know. She's Great amazing. barbecue. She's, <laughs> she's like an American version of me. I, I, oh, I actually adore, we speak for hours. So um, she's got two events um, and she actually heard about Agile 20 Reflect when I was talking about it in our Scrum Alliance uh, demonstrations that were on together. And um, then she said, I, I want to do a talk, I want to do this. And we decided to do one ourselves. So we've got ours on the 23rd. Um, I'll probably drop that in a little bit more closer to the time and she's got more on the 21st. So I, I'd better actually say, I, I am talking at a couple of other events, um, but I didn't set them up uh, and I should, say this because i'll get beaten up by the red team so the red team we got their talk uh next monday um and uh, I, I i'm there to be pretty apparently um i don't know how i'm going to do that um anyway uh it's it's really interesting red team thinking so uh, it allows me to be me and not apologize which is great um and uh, yulia is arranging another one um working with the fashion industry <gasps> No. Oh my yeah. god, I'm not back. Not that I look like it today. In, in the, I've been in the training. Well, I, I, I have actually done quite a lot of projects with the fashion industry. No. Um, yeah, yeah. I did uh, I did quite a large one with uh, I don't know if I can name I, I won't name the company. It's an American company that sells uh second season clothing um that is in high street stores. It's massive company uh, i'll tell you offline yeah but okay. I, I i did uh, i worked on an application system for their buyers and uh, when they first when they first came to my company that i was working with uh, they said oh yeah we just want uh, an app to help the buyers buy stuff and then we investigated and found out the buyers don't buy anything they've got a team of people that buy for them and when they buy they buy two hundred thousand items from a single company not like a few hundred so that they, they buy the full lines and then they buy um, the uh, the models that were made for the uh, initial products, which then go out on sale. So you would get a, a fashion item that would cost $5,000 for uh, $1,500 in this store. Yeah, uh, we, need to, we need to talk offline about this. I need to like... <laughs> yeah. Hello, so, you're speaking my language there. Why have we never spoken about this before? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's never really come up. I mean, I, I actually set up one of the first online uh, fashion uh, uh, companies. Uh, I sold it, but uh, it was called The Mall, and it allowed you to shop uh, a digital mall and go into the stores and buy what you would buy in them normally. Why have we not? Okay, me and you offline. We've done <laughs> enough now. We should have spoken about this. One question I do actually have for you, and I think we both need to answer this, right? So obviously it's the big, big, big event tomorrow. It is the yep. big event. We've all been waiting for it. We've all been training up for it. What are you looking forward to and what would you like to see? Um, I would like to see flexibility. Yeah. I think that that's probably my biggest concern is, is that 
Um, we are not a cult. Agile is not a cult. So if if I see someone come on stage, come up on stage and goes, everybody clap, I'll probably leave. Um, because it's kind of like, you know, it's, we, we are... Uh, we are individuals with a common purpose as opposed to uh, followers. Yeah. And, and that, that's my only concern because I, I just, I don't want to do, I don't want to create another 20 years of uh, friction uh, and obsession. I want to actually create uh, opportunity to learn from case studies, not from absolute rule systems. So. <laughs> I, so I almost want to see, one, it'll be good to see everyone there. I don't know if they're all going to be physically there, but it'll be nice to see, it'd be nice to actually be part of that. Something that I wasn't able to be part of 20 years ago, because I'm just so young. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I'll get involved in that. Carry on. No, no, I would have been quite young, actually. I would have been seven. I have no talking? idea what you're talking about. I'm, I'm losing yeah. track. Yeah. Carry yeah. on about, uh, get to the point about, and stop talking about age, will you? <laughs> <laughs> no, something that I can actually physically be there and be involved in and say I've been involved in it. It would be nice to see if there's going to be like a, a new signing. Is there going to be some changes? Are we going to be, you know, are they going to reenact it? Are we going to be able to see the reenaction? And is there going to be, there's just so many things that I, I'm hoping, I won't be disappointed if I don't see it, but I am hoping to see. Um, and it would be nice if there was maybe they brought in another group or there's an opportunity to maybe do it in about five, 10, 10 days time where more people can actually get involved. I know we're physically part of it because we're joining. That's something I would like to see. Okay. I mean, it, it'd be interesting to see if they would, go out into groups to come to sort of uh, refine ideas back down into what should be added as you say you know I think I think that's that's something that we've seen in in this festival is that there is a sense that there's some things that need to be removed yeah. and there's some things that need to be added so software yeah. needs to be removed because agile I'll is more that. than technology uh, and then you know, um, a, a, a compassion or a, a, a human aspect needs to be added uh, because it, it isn't about technology, it's about behavior. So I think that that would be interesting. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to predict, I'm going to attend and see where people's minds are at because, you know, we, we all talk about agile as a mindset. Well, what is the agile mindset of the organizations involved in supporting agileists? I don't yeah. know. Well, I've actually brought out, I've got ready, I've dusted off my little popcorn maker. Uh, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm serious. What, what, you'll see tomorrow, I'm going to purposely have it on my desk, my little popcorn maker with my little popcorn. I'm literally going to plonk myself here and that's it. I'm going to be watching it. And lucky enough for us in the UK, especially, it's kind of just outside of work hours. Not that, obviously, as Agilus, I think this is part of your job to be there. You know, you think, <laughs> this is like a big thing for us. So any companies that are not allowing your agilists to actually see this, you're bad. But <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's, there is, uh, there are people who've got things on at the same time, is it? So yeah, yeah. Uh, we just, uh, it's, I think that the, you know, we don't want to take audiences away from other people. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, it's let, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm just lucky I've got two screens. So I can watch a couple of things at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna have it set up. Maybe I should do like a little video, of, a little video tour of my setup for the actual thing. Righty then, it's tea time. Yay! And you just started to go slow. It's something around about this time at night. You just start to slow down. It's the countryside wakens up. I think. <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much. I shall speak to you later. Take care. Bye.